Recently, I was pulled into an entirely new world and given the task of slaying a dragon. Accomplishing this is not going to be easy and I will have to take down many enemies along the way. I met a guildmaster who was fully aware of the nature of this quest and sent me off on a mission to take care of some pillagers to prove myself. Upon completing this successfully, I was gifted a new skill and am now ready to continue on to the next step. My name is T-Bone and this is my story. Welcome to my life in Dawncraft. I've just been given a new map with my next target, the Goblin King who has been spotted in a castle nearby. I went to sleep last night and literally all I could think about was Billy. I just, I couldn't get him out of my head. He's sitting out there right now on that little fishing boat, just holding an empty hourglass, no sand in it at all. All he wanted was one red still in dust and I just walked away. Oh wait, the map's already filling in, we're close. We're really close. Okay, it's just gonna be like straight this way. I'm sure a sentinel knight being close is safe and I'm not gonna kill me at all. Bro, if this thing is standing right next to the goblin camp or wherever we're going, that's not gonna be good. Okay, I got distracted by this. I thought this was where the goblin king was gonna be. This back here is where the goblin king is gonna be. Okay, I mean, if we got a respawn point right here, it's not gonna be that bad. Just, what happened here? Okay, I think there's like multiple things that generated on top of each other or something. Cause this is like, there's no way this goblin castle. Okay, little dude. I'm about to punt you into this lava. I'm trying to look at something. All right, if all the goblins are like that, I was way too afraid of this for no reason. The only thing concerning that, that's the Sentinel Knight. Okay, so we got a Sentinel Knight that is gonna be right next to, you saw me? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna run as far as I can because my bed's right there. So I'll just run and then die. And then maybe he won't see me again. Okay, wait, wait. All we gotta do is live a little bit more. Live a little bit more. I've gotta get farther away than this, man. Run. I think my legs are broken. Okay, maybe that's good enough. Because there's no way we're fighting that right now. I'm sorry, it's just not happening. But if the satellite's way over there, now the goblins... See, sometimes you just gotta sacrifice your own life for the good of the cause. Yeah, so you're trying to run away. Okay, I can shoot you too, man. Think you're the only one with a bow. You might be the only one that can hit a shot. There we go. But you're not the only one with a bow. Did you walk so slow? I mean, I can't really fault if you're walking so slow. Your legs are so small. There's no way you could be coming at me with speed. That's the Goblin King. Okay, we got the, the King's already damaged. Who bopped the King? Goblin King, stop. I'm not ready. Please wait. I need to heal. You dickhead. I asked nicely to wait. How are you even going to like... All right, whatever. I'm not counting that death. That death didn't happen. Dude, it is like impossible to hit this guy, man. He's too fast. There we go. Oh, he's in the lava. He's getting effed. Wow. What an easy game. No, you're, get back in there. Oh, he's teleporting. What's over there? Why is that green? I don't know. Let's go this way. It's all right. The lava helped a lot. I don't know what this green thing is over here, but it's making me a little nervous. What does that say? Madam Ed? Get out of here. Why are you over, why are you interfering with this? He's killing the Goblin King. What the f am I looking at? All right, go kill the Goblin King, man. All right, sometimes you just gotta let someone else take the fight for you and then uh, take all the credit for it after it's over. 
right, we're healed a little bit. I'm just gonna let Ed get in there, man. There you go, Ed. But don't come after me. No, Ed, we were friends. You helped me so much. You basically did most of the fight. There was half done from lava and the other half done from you. I don't even know if I, I got like maybe two hits in. All right, Ed, there's a sentinel light over there that I think you should take care of. Bro, your king is dead. And you're not even strong. Alright, so the main problem is that I'm bleeding profusely and I'm running out of food. That's really the issue here. If it wasn't raining and these skeletons weren't taking shots at me everywhere, it would be a little bit of a different story. And I'm using that as an excuse. I don't care. You might be thinking, that's, that's bull, T-Bone. It's not. It's actually real. Okay. Ed, clean this up. What the? What happened? I'm stuck. I don't know what happened. My view zoomed in. I'm stuck. Oh my god. What is this now? A brain sucker? I like it in... Anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna die again. Alright, this is not good. I just want to explore this one wall of a castle. Is that too much to ask? The Goblin King is dead. You guys should have all given up. Now that... This brain sucker's got like heat seeking blue balls, dude. Okay, dude. Ed. Okay, finally. Ed's taking on the brain sucker. Oh my god! Ed is getting sucked. Bro, there's so much going on right now. Alright. Oh no, my sword broke. Time to give you my lengthy stone pickaxe. What are you gonna do when I start attacking you from range? Nothing, you're slow as hell, bro. All right. It's time for you to get die. I've had enough of you. I appreciate everything you've done. All that for... For what? My inventory full? Okay, so... All that for what? These boots? That's that's the goblin's crown. I didn't even know I picked that up. And this gem? Man. All my armor's blown off. I guess I can put on these sweet iron boots of iron. Alright, wow. I can still feel Ed's warmth in these boots. Okay, wow, I forgot I had a whole backpack full of food. Alright, we got... We're, we're getting things... We're getting things sorted out here. Let's just take out some stuff i'm getting into this wall of the castle okay it's happening no matter what what was that kill a raid captain i did not want to do that is that other village really a village though if i bring a raid into spirit water bro that's not what i wanted to do i just didn't want him by me and i Thought the only way to pull that off was to murder him. I almost left a whole block of iron behind Jesus. Oh my god, there's a huge one. Before we take on that huge guy. Like, actually I should probably use iron for this. This is gonna be a... Can we take down this whole tree is what I'm trying to figure out. This massive tree that's done nothing but get in the way and stop being... Uh oh. Do I want to know what this is? I think the answer is no. Hold on. Maybe I should put on the crown. And then I'll be respected. Like, you're telling me you're not you're not gonna respect this guy? Yeah, okay, dude. Even when I'm rolling on the ground and can keep this crown perfectly on top. Look at that. Yeah. There's no way. Hey, shadowy figure. Wow, you're tall. Wow, dude, this thing's scary as frick. And he's got a so He's got two swords. Can I shoot you? No, I don't think I can shoot you. It's going right through, man.
Where'd he go? Maybe he ran away, because I was kind of messing him up there for a second. Clearly too afraid. It, it's the crown. It's got to be the crown. Like the clown, you, you respect the crown. Maybe. All right. Hold on. What is this? Bark off. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to pick this up. What is this? Well, I guess I can't have this. Is this one of the eyes? Do I have to kill the Sentinel Knight to get this? Oh, man. That's probably exactly what it is. So you're telling me I can't just run in here, steal it, and move on with my life? Wait, if I'm wearing the crown, do the goblins have to respect me? Dude, I'm your king now. You better not hit me. I'm your king. Wait. That little one was thinking about it. The little one was respecting. How'd you do that? The little one was respecting the command of his king. This big guy, though, was not. And then, like, they all changed their mind. Dude, they turn on each other fast. Like, one accidental misfire. Yo, this probably, with all this stuff in here, like this big guy, these guys are throwing fire, that guy's shooting. Plus, this fire follows you. This probably would have been pretty tough if this was normal. Like, if if I didn't have Ed to just come and mess the Goblin King up. Thanks, Ed. We all love Ed. I know I killed him, but that's because he had to die. I mean it when I say that. Ed is just a great guy, and I will always respect him. Let's get that. I would say we could clear out this, but... I mean, what's going to be in there? Every chest we've come across in this whole game has been absolute trash. Oh, a hidden chest under gold? Okay, there's no shot it, that it's even possible for this chest to be bad. Okay. Impossible things happen every day, so, you know, here we are. All right, can I tell you the truth? What I really was hoping out of this was that, wow, you scared the F out of me, dude. All right. Now, avoiding death here. What I was really hoping I'd find is one piece of redstone just in a chest so I can go back to Billy and just finish off his hourglass. Because he's probably still staring right at that thing. Just like so sad that he can't use it. Why didn't I make a shield? I'm not going in there. There's a big thing in there. Oh, Christ. Uh, it was a trick. I was like, dude, it like, didn't come at me right away. So I thought it was like a fake trick. There was a giant man. Cursed armor inside of a chest. When all I wanted was one piece of redstone. That was like, that's like an insane punishment. And it takes... Oh god, no, it's right. It'll be raining again. I'm stuck. I'm going slow as hell. Oh, this armor's so cursed. Why can't I move? I'm so slow. I'm just gonna swing. I don't care if I take damage. Okay, it worked. Does that even, was there anything in that chest? I gotta go back. I mean, maybe there was some good stuff in there. I'm sure this slowness won't last for the rest of my life. Yes, dude, there, I don't even know how I didn't see this right away. There's redstone here. We can go back to Billy. Billy, I'm coming back. This was all that I needed. All right, I gotta really, I gotta clean out my inventory and... Oh, Christ. And, uh... We're going back to Billy. Don't kill me. Oh, God, I forgot. My shield does nothing. I'm bleeding. Oh, God. I need stitches. Dude, there's like this... Hold on. There's a secret chest over here that I can see through the wall. And I'm not even cheating, man. Like, it, my texture is messed up. Alright, this is probably a really... 
Like, how are you gonna have a secret chest that's like secret as hell? And it have nothing in it. Like, don't annoy me with a chest that I can see through walls if there's gonna be nothing in it. And only some walls. Like, I can see it through there. But I can't... Jesus, man! Where'd you come from? I'm doing something. I'm clearly busy. Just kill me. Because <sighs> now I can go back to bed. <laughs> okay, a lacerating katana? That sounds B.A. Does more damage. I'll take a katana. We'll give it a shot. But it's two-handed, so that means I'm probably one well, I'm not gonna be able to shield. Right? Yo! Hold on, I gotta go outside. Okay, I'm unstoppable now. I got a katana. I didn't have this before. You know how different all those fights been? I would have sliced Ed clear in half if I had this. Mostly, I'm ready to go. Pull it out. Wham! Dead. Insta kill. The only thing I'm not doing is putting it back in right away. But if I was... Okay. Now, I think it's time to go home. Uh, we got lucky enough... Ah, I broke my leg. We got lucky enough that the Sentinel Knight didn't bother us in there. Got some good stuff. Better stuff in there than I got in here. I guess there was a lot of gold in there, but who cares about that? And it's not exactly a fair comparison since almost all of the Goblin's Castle was just overridden by this big tree. But, we take what we got. Oh god, someone's going to kill me at night. I got a katana. I'm in combat mode. Hold on. See the katana in full action. All right, it's, it's in its thing. All right, here we go. Watch ya! Like, man, that goblin king was here now. Could bring him back, but nope, nope. Like, if I wanted to do this, we could use this crystal and actually have a fair fight, but... I mean... I kind of like the unfair fights when they work out in my favor. Back home, safe and sound. The Sentinel Knight left us alone. I know I'm gonna have to go back and kill that thing at some point, but I'm just... Gonna need to be a lot stronger than I am now. I can already tell. It's not gonna go well. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to rely on some random guy named Ed to show up and take care of most of the fight. I think I'm actually gonna have to make a real house. Because that little one I've been borrowing right there, this tiny house right there, it's not going to cut it. I have so much trash that I got to just start storing stuff. So... I'll probably... Maybe I'll just make my own, like, beach house over here. Or maybe a step away. Maybe I'll build it right over these graves after I dig up the bodies and bury them upside down. No, that would be disrespectful, so I'm not going to do that. But maybe a nice beach house right here. Okay. I'm going to get my boat back. And we're gonna go see Billy before I tell the guildmaster that I've done what he asked of me. Let's just run to Billy quick. We've made this run countless times and it's gone perfectly every time. Billy, I'm coming back for you, man. All right, please still be alive. Well, I mean, there was really no threat anymore because the pillagers are all dead. Oh, he's still here. Billy, man, it's me. Do you remember me? It's been a whole day. Okay. Oh, he's ready. I got what you need, Billy. I came all the way back. You're welcome, Billy. Okay. Now, maybe... Please, just give me a really good reward. Because this was so much work, dude. You have no idea. I took all the supplies needed from other people. Except for the, the gold I took from you. The redstone I took from some bad guys and the sand I got from over there but still please be oh I was gonna say I didn't punch Billy like what does this game tell me okay now thanks here's for your trouble reward collected trading contract angler guide what what was my reward oh up here trading contract angler guild I read it as guide the first time, which was incorrect. Shift right click on a lectern to sign this contract. After it's signed, you can trade with villagers. Oh. 
I also got an emerald. So is this only a... Uh... Yeah, I can teach you how to fish, but it'll cost you 18 emeralds! What is this 1 out of 15 that just happened? Okay, it doesn't matter. I don't know what that 1 out of 15 was. And I have to pay 18 emeralds to trade with this guy. Or, uh, to learn how to fish. Which is a very steep price. Billy, I like you and all. I don't even have 18 emeralds. I have, well, actually, I do. I'm not giving him 18 emeralds. That might be asking too much. I'll sleep on it, okay? I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll give you... I know. I know, Billy. I know we became pretty close friends, but... Not today. I had a lot of near-death experiences. To... Billy, you gotta go back, man. Billy. Oh, no. Uh... Um, get up there, man. You can do it. Get up. You gotta go up now. If you're going, you gotta go. Um, Billy. All right, get up, man. All right, go back home. Billy, I'm losing patience here. All right, well, I think I've done everything I can at this point. Uh, Billy is probably going to die out here. I have to leave him. I'm sh he might find a way back onto his boat. I don't know. We got important things to do, though. I can't just wa waste a whole lifetime trying to help Billy because he just dove off into nothing. And there. Okay. Got a lectern. Uh, right here is a perfect spot for it. Definitely a permanent placement, too. And then I can go like this. Okay, I signed the contract. I guess I still hold this. To sign this contract, after it's signed, you can trade with villagers. Okay. So now that I can trade with Billy, but I'm probably never going to see him again because he's going to die. I'm back. I, with my own two hands, slayed the Goblin King. I had no outside help, and I didn't do any other side tasks. I just went there, took care of business, and got out. Whoops. I'm always, just always ready to fight. Okay, good job. Seems you're ready to take on the corrupted ogre. Here, the creature dwelling in this marked spot is holding one of the eyes. Okay, so this next one. Now, this is a quest for an eye. So this is like one that actually matters. All right, the whereabouts of the corrupted ogre, one of the eye holders. And it is... Northwest, probably miles and miles. Uh, well, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I think we made some good progress, got some stuff, collected some things that are probably going to be useful. The Goblin King is dead. We have our next quest to go to the Ogre. We got to see Billy again. It was an eventful day. Next time, I think I might start looking into some magic or something to get a little stronger because I kind of think this Ogre might rock me, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Till then, peace.